Others call me Mother Nature. I've been here for over four and a half billion years. 22,500. hundred times longer than you. I don't really need people, but people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans, my soil, my flowing streams, my forests, they all can take you or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter to me. One way or the other. Your actions will determine your fate, not mine. I am nature. I will go on. I am prepared to evolve. Are you? Climate change, it's real, it's serious, and it's up to us to solve it. In the last two decades, we've experienced 14 of the hottest 15 years on record. By 2050, drought and chronic water shortages could impact a billion people, while millions more will be at risk from coastal flooding. It can seem overwhelming, but there's reason for hope. If we embrace solar and wind power to their full potential, we can cut the world's yearly carbon emissions by a third. Already, Germany generates 27% of its electricity from renewables, with a goal of 80% by 2050. Denmark has shown it can produce more wind energy than it can use. And England is building the world's biggest offshore wind farm. Communities large and small are taking steps. A new public building in Mexico City has an exterior that breaks down air pollutants, erasing the effects of 1,000 cars each day. Paris installed street tiles that harvest energy from foot traffic. Other cities are paving streets with smog-eating concrete and sidewalks with recycled materials. Individuals can make a difference too through the choices we make every day. If every American driver drove 10 miles less each week, it could eliminate more than 100 billion pounds of carbon from the air each year. New innovations are making important strides possible, and more are on the way, but we can't wait. Reimagining our world's energy future will take a shared sense of urgency from countries, companies, cities, and all of us. Working together, real change is possible. Learn more at natgeo.com slash climate. Our program will start with our Zoom etiquette, which will be followed by our opening prayer and the Philippine National Anthem. Additionally, we are now live streaming on our Green Conversions GCFP page. Thank you.
May we have your attention, please? We are about to say our opening prayer for uh, to begin today's Kamayan para sa Kalikasan Forum. Let's all settle down and focus our minds and hearts on the prayer to be led by a member of the Green Convergence who is professionally a faculty member of the Philippine Normal University, the National Center for Teacher Education in the Philippines. Let's welcome Mr. Jeffrey Hines. In moments of silence, let us savor the loving presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of all creations, our hearts are crowded with joy for the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of friendship, the gift of time, and the gift of resources. We infinitely thank you for keeping us safe, healthy, and peaceful in the midst of various crises. Above all, we are communed by the Holy Spirit as we constantly disperse the good news through this virtual event, Kamayan para sa Kalikasan Forum. We praise you for the beauty of your creations from air, water, and earth. We thank you for the layers of gases that envelop us from foreign materials. More importantly, you bless us with fresh air that increases the amount of oxygen in our body and in our surroundings. Though we scar the atmosphere through the continuous emission of greenhouse gases, you have constantly blessed us with a sufficient amount of oxygen to pursue what you have set for us to maintain. We thank you for the pure water that gives various benefits in health, domestic, industry, among others. Just as important as oxygen, there is no existence without water. With our ignorance and apathy, we pollute contaminate and degrade the waters. Despite this, you still continue to purify our waters through the protection and management of your faithful stewards. We thank you for the vastness and diversity of life on earth, ranging from flora, fauna, as well as microorganisms. The diversity of life serves as checked and balances for everything here on earth. In spite of the beauty and in diversity, we have become greedy for development and progress. But God is love as he is positioned and advocates for the protection and preservation and conservation of biological diversity. Through this forum, allow us to be more contemplative, smarter and braver, as we continue to hold hands together and to fight for environmental integrity. Bless our session speakers with divine wisdom as they share the government initiatives on the newly recognized treasure of our country, the peatland ecosystem. Christify our lives so that we turn from careless tenants to faithful stewards and co-creators of your threefold blessings of clean air, pure water, and rich earth. Through this, the ears of these blessings proclaim the wonders of your hands from one generation to another. We give back all the praises, glory, and honors through Jesus Christ, your living word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, kaya sa sinatanan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang, kuya ka ng magiting, sa mandulupin, di ka pasisigil, sa nagagang tutok sa simoy at sa langit mong pangraw. Ay hinagang tulakaw, 
Good afternoon, isang makakalikasan at mainit na pagbati sa inyong lahat. Hello. Kala ko nawala. <laughs> But I'm back on the saddle. <laughs> Welcome once again to Kamayan para sa Kalikasan Forum. This is number 388 of our monthly sessions since 1990. That's 32 years and running. This forum is organized and brought to you every third Friday of the month by Green Convergence for safe food, healthy environment, and sustainable economy. Just Green Convergence, or GC for short, with Kamayan Restaurant. If you want your friends or colleagues to join us, we are currently live streaming at the Green Convergence Facebook page. Later, a video recording will also be uploaded to the GC website and YouTube channel. I guess I should now briefly introduce myself. I am your moderator, Marie Marciano, a founding member and former vice president of Green Convergence, as well as a lifetime volunteer and advocate of various social causes that include, among many others, climate change, waste management, national uh, economic sustainability, human rights, and press freedom. And now, allow me to introduce my co-moderator. He is a retired marketing man who has worked with media here in the Philippines and in Asia through Business Day, Far Eastern Economic Review, and Asian Wall Street Journal. He is a constant presence in GC as a most um, uh, most reliable and uh, uh, so most uh, <laughs> Kasi nakocover yun. May na pictures. So anyway, you know, he is a constant presence. Talagang lagi siyang nandun in GCS. Most reliable volunteer in all our major activities and undertakings that we have taken to call him an honorary member of the board. He also happens to be the caring husband of our executive director, and I am happy to introduce Randy Oliva. Hello, Randy. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm so happy you're here. Oh, we're riding tandem once more. <laughs> Oo nga. You know, you're one of my favorite um, co-moderators and co-MCs. Diba? Ilang beses na tayo nag co-MC at co-moderator. Anyway, give me time to say hello and welcome to everyone. I, I was going through the the participants list and it seems that we really have a mix a mix of uh, people we have people who are faculty members uh Wilmar christian university may tigakagayan state university pa and we have people from lgu on the gupan city we have one two three four 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 people representatives from the denr And one thing, you know, we also have uh, members, you no, know, like Olivia Villafuerte. Oh, she's always here. She's I love her. Board. <laughs> oh, she's the president and trustee of Asian Institute of uh, Journalism and Communication. And I stumbled on a certain Jonathan De La Cruz, who's uh, the president of Green Arts Environmental Camp Inc. I know Jonathan de la Cruz. I don't know if this is the same Jonathan de la Cruz. I'm kasama ko sa Ateneo. We were That together. Sure. <laughs> well, nah, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the uh, pre-registered people. No? This might be his son because Jonathan de la Cruz should be older than me. <laughs> We also have uh, 
Reverend Father Roel Elandillo, who is the chairman oh. for, yeah, uh, we have a priest with us, the chairman for the Commission on Justice and Peace and Care for God's Creation of the Diocese of Sorsogon. Welcome, Father. I don't have time to welcome Mention everybody. everyone, I'm sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> so let's get the show on the road. Uh, yes, but uh, no, no, Andy, under we're very... Uh, under rain jeep. We're very thankful that uh, they always come and yeah. uh, we always have a good uh, audience. You know, last month, yung first uh, installment nitong uh, Pitland's topic natin, it was so uh, gratifying because a lot of people really admitted that they know nothing about Pitland's. <laughs> but afterwards, you know, they were thankful that they discovered through our um, resource speakers how precious peatlands are and how they uh, how how they give services to humankind so yes let's uh, get on with the forum to give the opening remarks and update you on the latest GC developments let's welcome the passionate earth steward and hard-working executive director of green convergence miss Tessa Oliva Yes. yes. Good afternoon, everyone. And it's good to have again, uh, to have you again in our 388th Kamayan Forum. So many developments happened in the past weeks, only in our country, but with green convergence as well. Okay. Uh, we are pleased to announce that Sister Elizabeth Carranza of the whom we fondly call Sister Bing, is now the president of Green Convergence. Yay! <laughs> he was elected last, uh, just last Friday, October 14, following our General Assembly. Sister Bing is no stranger to GC. He has been a trustee of Green Convergence and has remained closely connected and supportive of all activities. She was a former chairperson of Save Sierra Madre Network, um, and and a chair, okay, and studied environment and natural resources management at UP. Currently, Sister Bing works at Laudato Si Management Philippines, a movement Philippines Laudato Si movement, and is the co-founder of Terra Sisters of the Trinity a new Philippine-based community for a consecrated women. Others might want to join, okay? Well, more news. Another new trust, uh, we have other new trustees. We have Sister Marvi Misolas, Mary Noel's sister, and David D'Angelo, a new guy, okay? And we also have trustees who were re-elected. These are Vicky Segovia, and Isai Magu. So we all look forward to an exciting new year with a new sets of officers, okay? And of course, we have our other uh, old trustees who are still there to guide them. Okay, uh, with grateful hearts, we sincerely thank our hardworking immediate past president, Dr. Carlo Garcia, for his leadership for the past year. Despite his very busy and gargantuan responsibilities as the new academic dean of Miriam College's School of Arts, Science, Sciences, and Education, he continued to ably guide and direct GZ, assuring that we deliver on our targets for Carlo, will still continue to sit as GC's trustee, uh, trustee for the next two years. Okay. And now for our October Kamayan Forum entitled Government Initiatives on Peatland Management, we get the opportunity to listen this time to various government initiatives on the management of Philippine peatlands. As Marie mentioned last month, we got to 
and be acquainted with our newly recognized treasure, Philippine peatlands. We learned of its value and the services it gives to mitigate climate change. We also heard the efforts of CSOs and private individuals. We deepen our discussion. Focusing on government programs. Hopefully, after this forum, everyone personal or group actions to really protect our peatlands. All right. And so, without further ado, welcome everyone and calling. Okay. Thank you, Tessa. You were breaking up quite a bit. Sayang, we missed a lot of your words. I don't know. Maybe. Your connection is not stable, <laughs> but anyway, we got we got uh, we got the gist of what you were saying. Konti lang naman, hindi naman masyado marami yung nawala. Anyway, um, Randy. <laughs> yeah, alam mo. Or, yeah, before I we proceed to eh? our, ha? Na nawala din ako. I'm mentally unstable. Uh, my connection. Is <laughs> I'm oh back. no! <laughs> you know, uh, before we proceed to our speakers, we have to get rid, not get rid. <laughs> we have to <laughs> to deal with the business first. No? Uh, the usual, you know, we have to talk about how we conduct the forum for the benefit of those who are here for the first time. Para walang uh, misunderstanding, no? So the uh, forum has three major parts. The first part is when we listen to the speakers make their, making their presentations, okay? During that time, they will talk uh, one after the other. We are not going to allow questions. So if you have any questions, please write them down so that you won't forget. <laughs> and then uh, those questions will be uh, taken and uh, uh, taken, but not answered. <laughs> in part two, okay? That's, uh, we will take all the questions and uh, so that the resource speakers can put them all together and uh, answer them more efficiently, okay? Um, it is only in part three that your questions will be answered by the speakers. So in part two, we will ask the speakers to bear with us and take down notes naman. Sila naman naman to take down notes kung ano yung questions at sino yung nag-question. Okay? So, uh, so that they can answer the questions in part three. Okay. So that's it for me. I uh, think you still have other guidelines. Oh, patagdag, patagdag. Konting additional ano, no? Yes. Uh, to avoid uh, distracting background noise we are requesting all participants to keep your microphones on mute. Let's keep our mic microphones on mute for the duration of the webinar. Except siguro pagdating ng uh, open forum, all participants are welcome to speak and ask their questions. Meantime, you can all use the chat box for, for comments, your reactions and messages. Marie? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. And now, we, our first speaker, let's go. Let's uh, hear our speakers. Our first speaker is an ecosystems management specialist in the Department of Environment and Natural Resources of the Philippines. Even as a forestry major, she was not familiar with peatlands until she started working in a peatland conservation project in 2011. According to her, peatlands were not included in the forestry curriculum when she was studying. To give us an overview of our national programs and initiatives on peatland management, please give a warm welcome to Ms. Zane Lumbres. Good afternoon, Ms. Lumbres, Zane. Uh, good afternoon, Paul. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, good afternoon, Pa. <laughs> you know, you have a very exotic name. I, I, mm -hmm. I asked everyone, how do you pronounce this, your full name? So I was, uh, I was told to just call you Zane. Yes, <laughs> how Paul, do you, Zane. 
Zain uh, how do you po. how do you pronounce your real name your uh, real name Susan po Susan ah, Susan so it's like Susan no it's a variation of Susan no yes po, uh, po. Uh, okay <laughs> Susan okay Zain uh, go ahead ah <laughs> uh, uh, permission to share my screen po yes So, kita na po ba ang aking screen? Yes, we can see it. So, uh, I've heard na uh, nung uh, previous session po ninyo ay nalaman nyo na po ang importance and um, um, wa, ano ang peatlands. Tama po ba? Um, so, ngayon naman po, uh, ikukwento ko naman po under the sun ang, uh, kung saan po, kung paano po tayo nagsimula when it comes to peatlands initiative na, uh, before we have uh, these various uh, researches on peatlands and uh, initiatives from our uh, research institutions and uh, partner NGOs um, actually this all started uh, here in uh, the DNR through the Biodiversity Management Bureau which is actually a uh, protected areas and wildlife bureau that time Oops. Kita na po ba ang aking screen ma'am sirs Yes po So ang topic ko po ngayon ay yung government initiatives on the conservation and management of Philippine peatlands So uh, actually it started in May 2005 When, uh, when the DNR, through the PAUB, I uh, was invited to participate in the consultation workshop for the development of the ASEAN Peatland Management Strategy in Malaysia. Uh, kung meron man pong na-mention before dun sa previous uh, uh, session po ninyo, kung para saan tong EPMS, uh, noong kasing uh, 2000, uh, Uh, that late uh, 2007, 2000, uh, that, uh, yeah, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2030,
uh, noong 2005, pumunta yung uh, experts from the Global Environment Center, Malaysia, para ilocate kung saan yung mga peatlands natin. So, uh, pumunta sila sa Agusan Marsh, sa Agusan del Sur, because uh, uh, initially, ito yung unang peatland based dun sa uh, satellite images na pinakita. Uh, ito yung uh, nakakitaan ng character ng pagiging uh, peatland. So, nagkaroon po ng local, consul, uh, local level consultation with the communities para ilocate yung peatland. So, in-explain sa kanila kung ano yung peatland, dinescribe kung anong itsura. And then, uh, ngayon, yung communities naman na ito, uh, kumbaga nagkaroon sila ng community mapping kung saan makikita tong uh, mga peatlands na ito based po dun sa description ng consultant. And also, with that, uh, sinundan ito ng fieldwork to confirm kung peatland nga ba talaga yung yung uh, yung mga dines, uh, lugar na ito. So ito po yung first uh, recorded peatland natin which is yung Kaimpugan peatland sa Agusan Marsh. Uh, this is how it looks like and ito po yung uh, uh, field work for field validation ng ating uh, Kaimpugan peatland. So kung makikita nyo po yung picture dito sa Upper left, ito yung kumbaga malalaki pa yung puno na tinuturo and then later on may mga paliit na mga yung mga payat na puno. Actually magkaka-age po yan pero kumbaga paliit na ng paliit kasi palapit na sa, pa, punta na sila sa loob ng pit dome kaya lumiliit na yung puno. And then after that uh, consultation, uh, field work, nagkaroon naman po tayo ng National Action Planning Workshop for the sustainable use and protection of peatlands in the Philippines noong 2000, February 2006. So with this, um, binuo po natin kung ano ba yung lalamanin ng ating National Action Plan which is parallel with the ASEAN Peatland Management Strategy. So and uh, this was followed by a um, National Action Plan for Peatlands Validation Workshop noong 2008 and this time kasama na naman yung mga taga Region 8, yung mga dahil na-confirm din na meron din palang pitlan sa Leite Sub. Ah, so, yung Leite Sub at pitlan nila. So, this is our Philippine na po or yung National Action Plan on Pitlands na na-prepare nung, uh, which we started to prepare noong 2006 and binalidate, finalize noong 2008. This was presented and endorsed by the Subcommittee on Biodiversity Conservation of the Philippines Council for Sustainable Development naman noong 2009 and ni-recommend ni ng Subcommittee to have it officially adopted as a subcomponent ng updated National Wetlands Action Plan. And with that, nagkaroon din po tayo, ito po yung kauna-unahang peatland project sa, 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 sa bansa, sa Philippines, which is a regional project po, yung ASEAN Peatland Forest Project and the Sustainable Management of Peatland Forest in CPT Asia. So we call it a APFP CPT po. It's ASEAN-wide project on peatland and uh, yung Philippine component was implemented by DNRBMB in partnership with other government agencies, LGUs, NGOs, and academe. We implemented it uh, in uh, 2010 to 2015. And as mentioned po before, di ba, zero knowledge nga tayo sa peatland when we started. So, kaya ang naging focus po nung project natin ay more on capacity building, peatland uh, inventory and assessment, rehabilitation and restoration, and establishment of demo sites for best management practices. So, and of course, yung information awareness raising po. The first uh, confirmed peatlands, as mentioned po, ay yung sa Leite Sub Basin and yung sa Kaimpugan peatland sa Agusan del Sur. So, this is the uh, yung policy framework po for ASEAN, which is yung ASEAN Agreement on Transboundary Haze Pollution na under this naman po nabuo yung uh, 
yung ASEAN Peatland Management Initiative and yung ASEAN Peatland Management Strategy uh, uh, which uh, guide the countries, the ASEAN member states, into taking actions that would uh, ensure na maiiwasan natin at makokontrol natin yung, yung pit fire para ma-reduce uh, ma din yung associated haze sa ASEAN region and ma-improve yung yung uh, yung way on how we manage our wetlands specifically these peatlands um another policy framework that we have is the Philippine Development Plan under the uh, chapter 20 for the conservation of inland wetlands and then yung Philippine Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan so uh, yung national action plan on peatland po natin ang Main, ang national goal nito ay ma-promote yung sustainable management and wise use of peatlands through awareness raising since uh, this, the, peat, uh, this, the peatland is new to us and of course capacity building and enhance interagency and multi-sectoral cooperation for the conservation of biodiversity, climate change mitigation, and the benefit of the local community. So um, as mentioned before, awareness raising po and capacity building yung main main objective ng, ng uh, national action plan natin. And of course, ma-protect pa yung existing peatlands natin with high functional and conservation values given that na uh, late na natin na malaman kung ano ba ang peatland. So unfortunately, marami po sa kanila ay na-convert na into other land use since uh, kalumihan po sa peatland natin ay nasa ay low nasa low lying area so kumbaga uh, hindi siya pumasok dun sa definition ng uh, forest kaya usually um ito yung prone po talaga into uh, other land use na con uh, yung conversion of other ng areas na ito so with that, um, of course, we wanted to uh, save this, uh, yung mga na-degrade na peatland natin. So uh, since uh, with that, uh, uh, talagang uh, we wanted them to be uh, restored, to be revetted, and uh, for other areas na ginamit for agriculture, at least ma-promote ma natin yung sustainable use ng mga, ng mga areas na to, yung mga na degraded um peatlands through a uh, sustainable uh, agriculture yung na applicable sa sa peatland because hindi naman lahat po ng agricultural practices ay applicable sa peatland so as of now yung um from the first peatland natin which is yung yung latest sub uh, and kaimpugan um which is ang total area po niya ay 6,607 hectares. As of now, we estimated that we have 20,000 hectares of peatlands which are distributed all over the countries. Uh, but mostly, um, concentrated po yung uh, peatlands natin sa Mindanao area. And um, with that also, uh, part din ng, ng implementation ng National Action Plan natin ay yung mag-come up into a definition of peatlands na magagamit natin na mas applicable sa Philippines kasi uh, when we started the APFP project uh, ang ginamit ang inadapt muna natin na definition ay yung definition ng Indonesia and Malaysia which is a uh, 65% organic matter unfortunately if uh, ang kung yun yung gagamitin natin uh, hindi papasok sa definition ng peatland yung other peatland areas na mas mababa ang organic matter na mas mababa sa 65%. And then uh, with that, and uh, through uh, mga assessment din na ginawa po ng, uh, ng, B, ng BNR, um, we adopted the FAO definition of uh, peat, yung 35% organic matter. So, inadapt po natin to into policy and we also um, adapted uh, our own, very own uh, definition of peatland uh, 
which also um, naka-anchor din naman dun sa kung ano yung ginagamit ng, ng ASEAN and dun sa FAO na definition. And dun din sa policy na to, nakalagay din po kung ano yung mga strategies that na pwedeng gawin for the sustainable development planning and management of our peatlands. For the research, uh, ju uh, kasama din sa naging ano natin, uh, initiative po ay yung through, through the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, College of Forestry and Natural Resources, na pasama sa, sa forest types of the Philippines, yung pit swamp forest natin, which is uh, something new nga for us. And we also developed the pictorial handbook of on the pit swamp flora of Agusan del Sur, Philippines. So makikita dito sa Agus pit swamp flora books yung mga different uh, flora species na matatagpuan naman sa pitland area sa Kaimpugan. Another research, um, but, um, important research na, 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 na come up uh, through through UPLB, through Dr. Vandia Alibo, ay yung research on carbon storage and the role in climate change mitigation of Kaimpugan peatland. Uh, with this study of Dr. Vandia, um, uh, we recorded that the remaining intact pit swamp forest in Kaimpugan pit swamp forest is estimated to store 22.8 million tons of car carbon within its 5,400 87 hectares of peatland with an esti estimated uh, of 3,000 to 6,000 tons of carbons on a per hectare basis. So, malaki po talaga yung, yung carbon uh, uh, na na-store ng ating mga peatland. Uh, kasi ito, hindi lang ito yung mga carbon na na-store dun sa mga vegetation or dun sa mga puno or halaman. Uh, ito rin yung mga uh, uh, carbon stock na nakokontain din dun sa mga sa, mga, sa soil nito which is yung tinatawag na below ground. Part din ng mga naging uh, initiative po ng government ay to, yung mag-conduct ng, ng series of trainings on peatland assessment and management for the national agencies, local government units, and local communities concerned. And with this, through, uh, through this effort, so dito rin nagsimula na, na kumbaga, um, malaman ng marami kung ano yung importance ng pitlan. Kasi yung ginawang effort po natin noon ay hindi lang naman uh, solely ginawa ng, B, ng BNR, kundi we, we did it uh, through partnership with other concerned uh, government agencies, LGUs, and even uh, we also partnered with uh, non-government organizations and academe. And we also included them in this uh, a series of trainings on peatland assessment. Uh, we also conducted co uh, con uh, community di dialogue and IECE. Uh, we started in the munis municipalities of uh, Agusa uh, in municipality peatlands in Agusan, Del Sur, and Leyte. Nagkandak ng mga lectures and presentations on peatland protection and management sa mga national government agencies, sa local government units and NGOs para, uh, para mapa mapalawig yung um, information and uh, kumbaga marami pa yung ma-encourage para ma-protect yung mga peatlands natin. And of course, uh, yung mga information na nakukuha na na, na laman din natin dun sa ASEAN, uh, ASEAN member states, especially sa Indonesia and Malaysia ay ay ini-include natin, uh, dine-disseminate natin para uh, para kumbaga lumawak pa yung ano, du uh, dumami pa po yung makaalam tungkol sa peatland and its importance. So, uh, uh, kumbaga ngayon po hindi lang hindi na lang sa Leyte and Agusan yung yung may mga ganitong activities even dun sa like sa sa Quezon sa 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 may Surigao area sa may Samar so may mga uh, kumbaga at tapos hindi na lang po DNR yung nagdi-disseminate ng information about this kumbaga may mga NGOs na na nag uh, nag 
nagkakandak ng IEC or even projects uh, in terms of uh, protection ng ating mga ng mga peatlands. So these are just examples of yung mga yung mga ginawa po ng ng DNR para po sa uh, continuous uh, information sharing and awareness raising po ng ng uh, ng tukol sa peatlands. And then in terms of policies and legislations um sa um this is specifically focus po sa uh, Agusan Marsh. Uh, before po kasi kung makikita niyo yung light blue na dito sa mapa, yun po yung original boundary ng Agusan Marsh Wildlife Sanctuary which is yung protected area po under the Naipas Act. So yung mga may color yellow, color purple, yun, yung purple po yun yung kaimpugan peatland and meron pang maliliit patches ng ng peatland po diyan sa ano so uh, na outside PA po talaga sila ju uh, dati but since nung malaman natin kung gaano yung importance ng peatland so na kumbaga na isama sa expansion ng Naipas uh, through in Naipas Act yung kaimpugan peat swamp yung tala talakogon uh, peatland para maisama para kumbaga mas strengthen yung protection ng mga areas nito. And for those areas na hindi po nakapasama sa Inay Pasak dito sa uh, Agusan area sa Agusan Marsh, uh, uh, na-cover naman siya through local conservation area through the efforts of uh, of the local government units. So meron naman silang inisyu na uh, kumbaga unified ordinance specifically yung Actually, uh, yung, yung local ordinance na in dito, uh, more on uh, sa provincia, provincial level na po. Other than that, um, we also have, uh, kumbaga, nasa radar na rin ng ating mga legislators yung peatland, which is sobrang, kumbaga, uh, tagal din yung inano namin para at least ma ma-appreciate ng mga legislators natin kung ano ba itong peatland na to. So, um, during the 18th Congress, uh, meron pong na-file na wetland bill and meron ding specifically for peatland bill. So, and then, ngayong 19th Congress po, meron na rin, kumbaga, uh, parang ni-refile siya uli. May mga nag-sponsor po uli na, na, na legislators para po sa protection and sustainable management ng peatlands natin recognizing the importance of peatland when it comes to climate change so um hindi man natin alam kung kailan ito maa-approve ma-legislate yung protection ng peatland natin at least ah uh, kumbaga nasa uh, uh, um aware na yung mga legislators natin about the peatlands so sana tuloy-tuloy na and also I would like to take this opportunity po sana na, na you can download this uh, Senate and House bill sa website po ng, ng, ng Congress and ng Senate and have a time to look and baka po yun din baka makakuha din kami ng support from you para ilabi yung, yung approval ng peatland uh, bills natin which is very important po talaga na ma-legislate. Other than that, uh, meron din pong mga support, hindi lang from from DNR, but may mga initiative din po na ginagawa ang Bureau of Fire Protection in terms of uh, uh, fire prevention, control, and monitoring ng, ng, pit, uh, ng, ng pitland or wildland wild fire sa, sa bansa. So through uh, BFP, um, Kumbaga, nagkaroon sila ng support sa local government units na may mga peatland. So, nag-issue sila ng, uh, nag-provide sila ng mga seminars kung paano ba sugbuin in case na magkaroon ng wildland fires. And then, um, nag-provide din sila ng mga, ng mga equipments, yung mga fire trucks, or sub submersible pumps, and other firefighting devices which they can be used. When it comes to integrated management and conservation of peatlands, um, specifically, I will be focusing on uh, 
uh, Agusan Marsh in, on behalf of uh, Diana Region 13 uh, dun sa promotion of biodiversity-friendly practices in Agusan Marsh Wildlife Sanctuary as part of conservation and protection ng peatlands dito. So, um, kasama dito yung may mga na aside sa ecotourism as part of uh, of their biodiversity friendly practices meron ding mga na develop po na mga products na, na makukuha dun sa lugar which is a uh, sustainable naman and uh, hindi harmful dun sa ecosystems natin so this includes yung uh, production nila ng katmon and libas jam so yung katmon and libas ito po ay mga puno na native dun sa dun sa area nila and uh, marami po silang halaman na ganito so para uh, nakita na kumbaga uh, uh, nakita nila kung na marami itong mamunga and then pwede siya pwede siya gawing jam and then uh, para maprotektahan din yung mga puno na ito so since nakakita nakita ng kumbaga ng gamit hindi kumbaga na na, na iwasan yung yung uh, pag-convert dun sa area or pag-cut dun sa mga puno kasi uh, yun nga, napapakinabangan nila yung prutas para gawing mga jams and other products po dun sa area. So right now po, um, ongoing yung uh, kumbaga, trainings ng mga POs dito sa area on how to promote their products pa. Uh, yun naman sa pinakang baba, ito naman po yung other products nila na makukuha na ginagawa nila sa uh, uh, made from water hyacinth kasi yung water hyacinth is another problem in Agusan, Ma in Agusan Marsh kasi uh, kumbaga, uh, invasive species to so nagpa-proliferate siya dun sa area. Uh, one, uh, problema siya talaga nung um, hindi lang dun sa kumbaga uh, competition dun sa mga native species dun but pati dun nung mga nung mga fisher fox dun kasi nahirapan silang kumbaga in terms of navigation dun sa sa marsh so ang um, isang way pa, na naisip nila to um to address these issues is to make it into something na mapapakinabangan make it into something uh, na maaalis mo siya dun sa sa area but at, at the same time, uh, magagamit siya. So, ito nga, yung mga handicrafts naman po nila and yung mga sleepers nila. So, um, another initiative po that we have now in Agusan Marsh is yung uh, public-private partnership through um, through these uh, projects ng, ng DNR and PLDT Smart through the... Uh, gabay kalikasan. So when nung malaman ng PLDT Smart yung about peatland kasi ang PLDT po kasi um uh, kumbaga in 2030 ta uh, target nila maging uh, kumbaga carbon uh, kumbaga maging uh, carbon neutral company. So kumbaga so magagawa nila to through offsetting po. Uh, so with this project um they they uh, kumbaga inexpress nila yung support sa uh, in terms of protection and conservation nung nung mga peatland areas natin sa Agusan Marsh particularly yung kaimpugan peatland no malaman nila na it stores uh, 22.8 million tons of carbon so with that uh, they provide uh, support dun sa sa community sa sa Ag Ag Agusan Marsh dun sa office and dun sa sa other stakeholders dito so they provide um uh, technology in terms of uh, protection restoration of peatlands here in uh, Ag uh, Agusan Marsh so this partnership is being uh, implemented by our uh, DNR region e through the uh, province uh, 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 protected Area Management Office of Agusan Marsh Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, yung mga challenges na na uh, natin ngayon, of course, there are still uh, persistent threats on peatlands. So, um, we still need to enhance yung knowledge and technical skills also nung mga, uh, nung mga uh, uh, 
uh, field uh, personnel po namin in terms of peatland conservation and sustainable management um, since we also have limited uh, information regarding peatlands in the Philippines. So, uh, uh, kailangan i-push or i-continue pa rin yung mga assessment kung nasaan pa yung mga peatland and uh, how and yung mga details details pa ng mga uh, ng, ng mga peatland areas natin yung profiling and characterization nila and of course um, we also have this challenge in coordination regarding the updates on the existing peatland projects being implemented by different sectors and stakeholders uh, 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 we wanted to know uh, uh, yung iba-ibang efforts po na ginagawa ng iba-ibang um, sectors, not just the government, but even other uh, stakeholders or institutions, whether it's academe, non-government organizations, or LGUs. Kasi um, every year po we have this uh, uh, annual meeting with the ASEAN on... Uh, to, uh, on monitoring or um, kumbaga nire-report natin kung ano yung naging status ng ng implementation ng national action plan natin which contributes to the uh, implementation din naman ng uh, ASEAN peatland management strategy natin so we wanted to know um, different efforts of different uh, sectors stakeholders para din uh, sa collaboration and harmonization when it comes to uh, protection, conservation, and sustainable management of our peatlands. So with that, of course, uh, we uh, still continue our collaboration with key agencies for the conservation of peatlands. We continue to lobby yung legislation ng wetland and ng peatland bills natin. And of course, yung mobilization of resources, including yung enhancement ng ng mga uh, kap ng mga personnel natin sa national and local level and um, Hello? specifically sa assessment and mapping of peatlands. And of course, uh, continuous awareness raising at all levels and states uh, and of course sectors as part of the mainstreaming process and can you continuous knowledge and information sharing uh, kagaya po nitong ginagawa natin ngayon with different stakeholders and uh, if, hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas but also uh, meron tayong information sharing na ginagawa with other ASEAN countries kasi um example um hindi lang uh, hindi uh, kumbaga hindi lang sa atin bago yung peatland uh, uh, bago rin ito dun sa mga Mekong countries like Lao, Cambodia. So, uh, we are, we, uh, we are uh, kumbaga nasa learning process din. And uh, kumbaga, um, very crucial na magkaroon ng information sharing at this level lal, uh, para kung paano ba poprotektahan or yung sustainable management ng mga peatland natin. And of course, we have also this uh, implementation of the ES Benefit Project on peatland na uh, ini-implement po ngayon ng ng BMD. So I think that's my that ends my presentation. Thank you po. Okay, thank you very much uh, Zane Lumbres, very informative. Uh, earlier I admitted uh, that I myself didn't know anything about the peatlands. Now that we know that it plays a, a very good role, a very important role in mitigating climate change, we really have to protect the peatlands for Pete's sake. We have to do it. Okay. Uh, at this point, we would like to, to call the next speaker who would probably speak more on, on, on programs uh, in peatland conservation in Lopez Quezon. Uh, the next speaker is a zoning Officer One at LGU in Lopez, Quezon. He is an electronics engineering graduate from uh, uh, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, a member of the Philippine Institute of Environmental Planners, and he is currently the OIC Municipal Planning and Development Coordinator and Municipal Environment and Natural Resource Office Designate 
in Lopez Quezon. Without further ado, let's call on uh, Mr. Aristides Arias. You're on, Aris. Hello, hello. Hello, I'm yes. Can you hear me, sir? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry for... <laughs> Uh, eh, ano lang po ako, galing pa lang din ako sa mimi. Kasi meron po kami mga visitors. Right now, uh, we are preparing for the the construction of our newly, uh, of our new government site. Ano? So again, uh, uh, good afternoon uh, to all attendees here in this room. I am uh, very glad uh, that I was the I would be a part of this uh, a very uh, interesting uh, discussion regarding the uh, conservation, sustainability, and protection of our peatland here in our municipality. So again, uh, thank you, uh, thank you. So let me can I share my screen right now, sir? Please allow me to screen my share my, uh, my presentation. Where's my presentation? Okay, uh, okay. Uh, here is my uh, uh, presentation, the Pitland programs and uh, Lopez Quezon. Uh, we know naman po, ano, na the, the proposed uh, program is very essential in protecting the Pitland. Uh, so ko lamang pong uh, bigyan ng emphasize na uh, recently, ang amin pong bayan, hindi ho kasi namin alam na meron palang ano, peatland within the uh, marshland. Ano? Kasi meron ho kami rito inland water sa amin bayan and I don't know, siguro uh, mga five years na nakalipas, nagkaroon ng initial, uh, initial survey ho ang uh, DNR that they uh, they disclosed to us that our municipality has an existing peat land. So in that way, ang uh, ginawa ko ng ano ng aming mong local government, ano po, uh, ako po bilang uh, sa ngayon at uh, this moment, I am the, the incumbent of uh, uh, municipal planning and development coordinator So and zoning administrator. At the same time, I was designated also uh, the municipal environment natural resource officer. Uh, so, ito po yung ano, ito po yung uh, uh, ano yung natak, uh, we have a collaborative uh, um, actions or program and activities uh, together with the uh, DNR, our yung aming pong senro, yung community environment natural resource uh, office. At the same time, meron ho rin ho kami partner dito uh, sa ngayon. Uh, ito po yung IIRR. So I think parang uh, uh, familiar na rin sa inyo yung grupo, yung IIRR. So at, at yung pong municipal gov uh, ang local government po ng Lopez Quezon. So from here, we know that the peatland is a terrestrial wetland ecosystem in which uh, water like condition prevent uh, plant material from uh, fully decomposing. So dito po, ito po yung uh, isang napakahalaga na natuklasan po namin no sa aming bayan at uh, recently uh, doon sa ginawa kong uh, uh, some uh, survey uh, together with the IIRR uh, meron po kaming uh, two locations of uh, our peatland here in our municipality uh, one is located in Barangay Tanag Ilaya and the The other one is located in a 
na Laguna Marsland at uh, Barangay La Laguna. Same uh, situation here na uh, Barangay here in our municipality. Uh, siguro uh, kung mararating niyo yan, kung familiar kayo dun sa lugar uh, from the urban poor uh, here, uh, you, it was seven to nine kilometers away from the town center, ang location ng dalawang ito. So yung pong La Laguna Marsland, uh, ito po siya. Yan, kung yung titingnan mo, yung... Kasi siyang malapit to yung location ng dalawa na yan dun sa uh, Lopez uh, Buena Vista Road ano uh, connecting dun sa amin no uh, kasi ang aming bayan was located uh, and uh, bounded by uh, seven municipalities kaya medyo strategic din po yung lugar namin for development so yan nakita niyo sa location yung Tanagilaya Pitland at saka yung Dalaguna na Marshland Okay. Um yan po yung uh, Tanagilaya Pitland uh, base po dun sa ginawang uh, survey uh, together with that yun po yung pong tripartite ano uh, effort agian uh, ng ano ng uh, ng IIRR sila po yung nag-lead kasi sila po yung mayroong mga uh, technical uh, uh, manpower at uh, yun ho, uh, na-identified ho na sa Tanagilaya mayroong 99.8 hectares na peatland. And then, yung pong sa Lalagun na Marsland, as you can see, so mayroon po siyang napakalaking area, no? 500 hectares. So, kung titingnan ninyo, almost uh, 600 hectares pala yung uh, uh, masasabi natin na uh, although nasa process pa rin po ito sir ha, ng, ng uh, further study ng uh, IIRR kasi kumuha kami dito kasama yung pong mga staff ko dito sa office na mga sample ano ho, nagsampling po kami nagsampling kami so yun po yung aming ginawa at para ho, ano um, pero prior to that uh, activity so uh, gusto ko lang din hong disclose sa inyo na um, meron naman ho kaming ano, kasi meron na kaming marsland. Uh, ang ginawa ho namin dito, uh, we, through an executive order issued by our local chief executive, uh, meron pong uh, binuo na Lucas Marsland Development and Management Council na, at saka po meron din dito ang ini-issue uh, na sangguniang bayan resolution for the declaration of critical habitat dun sa aming lalago na marshland. Kasi oh, kung inyong, kung kayo makakarating sa aming uh, lugar, sa aming bayan, eh, talaga pong parang masasabi natin na it was a key biodiversity area yung uh, mga nabanggit na lugar. At ito nga ho, recently nga sabi ko, uh, we discovered na mayroon pa rin palang uh, uh, pitland within the marshland ano, or wetland. So, Ngayon, ang ginawa namin uh, ng, ng aming pong local government together with the DNR and the IIRR, nagkada po ng soil sampling survey ano, nung nag-start po ng July. Uh, ito rin yung taong ito. So, yan po yung mga programa namin ginagawa sa kasalukuyan. At saka po yung IEC activities na lagi rin po namin kinakandak. Bakit po namin ginagawa ito? Why we are doing this uh, programs and projects? Kasi o, oh, um, alam naman natin yung uh, role ng ano, ng, uh, alam natin na kapag hindi po natin na-conserve yung mga mga heatland o kung saan nandito yung mga lugar na, na meron po tayong uh, uh, carbon deposit ano, from uh, the uh, uh, yun po yung pong, ang pinanggalingan ng mga deposit ng mga carbon na to ay di wala ko doon siguro sa mga mga organic matters na nag uh, na decompose so excuse me ah ah um, so, uh, yung 
yung soil, uh, soil sampling uh, survey ginawa ko namin para ko madetermine yung extent or yung area na nabanggit ko kanina ano together with the IRR at na uh, yun nga oh na-discover na napakalaki pala nung ano uh, area na covered nung uh, peatland that's why uh, yung IEC namin na laking kinakandak para ate uh, always very frequent ang kanyang uh, 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 ginagawang information and uh, education campaign kasi oh, we are also worry you know we are worrying that di namin to na conserve itong malaking area na to eh baka ho magkaroon ng ano is there merong hong possibility na ayun namin mangyari yung nangyari sa ibang bansa like dun sa sa Indonesia nagkaroon ng malaking grass fire na kung saan eh napakatagal bago ho naakula no So ayun na nangyari. Kaya ngayon, ang ginagawa ho ng uh, local government is uh, i-inform mo na yung ano, yung lahat po ng uh, mga areas or community na kung saan nandoon yung aming uh, peat land. O uh, and then um uh, palagi namin pinapaalala sa kanila uh, sa mga community na pag hindi ko nito na na pangalagaan ay eh, merong risk ano pero bukod sa risk eh alam natin na napakarami rin naman tong benefit sa atin sa sa hindi lang po sa aming bayan siguro uh, kasi nandito nga siya pero hanggang sa siguro globally ano or uh, locally or up to global yung effect ng unang pangalaga ay may magandang benepisyo. Ah, uh, considering na ah uh, yun pong uh, alam naman natin na it, ang role na talaga ni ni Pipland is uh, sequestration of uh, carbon dioxide, ano? Na compared dun sa mga forest natin, oh yes, yes. Pero kalang twice din ang capacity kasi ng uh, ng ano, ng uh, Pipland to sequester uh, carbon dioxide. So napakahalaga. And ang sabi palagi namin sa AEC, napaalan namin sa kanila na uh, pag na alam natin pag na-drain ho, ano, na-drain si si Pipland, eh magre-release siya ng ano, ng mga gases. Eh pag nag-release siya ng gas, then accidentally magkaroon ng uh, uh, fire. So what will happen? So mahirap pong apulain, no? Kasi nga meron siyang carbon deposit na napakalaki. Pero ang yung area, pero that ah uh, you know, ah uh, isa pa alam namin ngayon sa uh, aming partners is uh, to determine the the volume or the extent of a uh, deposit ng carbon dioxide ah ng carbon dun sa uh, mga nabanggit na area. Kasi baka although Sampling lang naman ho kasi, kaya lang, yung nagginawang sample, the, the samples uh, conducted uh, last July, uh, meron ho kasing five uh, samples uh, na kinuha sa lalago ng Mars. Then, yung out of 46, so, so yung remaining na 39 ay uh, doon naman ho sa uh, Tanag Ilaya. So, Um you know uh, uh, medyo nagwo-worry lang din kami kasi nga kailangan pa rin naming alamin kung gaano kalaki yung deposito ng carbon na na dapat namin hong uh, pangalagaan the same time ay di yung uh, yung benefits nito sa ating uh, sa ating pang community ano Uh, ay uh, amin hong alam naman at uh, amin mo talaga itong uh, uh, parang uh, pinangangalagaan. So, yan po, yan po, makita nyo yung uh, actual uh, sample uh, sampling survey ng soil na kinuha namin nung, nung June and July. So, makikita po nyo yan dyan. So, yung binabanggit ko yung nakapag-collect ko ng 46 at saka uh, five location dun sa 46 dun sa ano sa Ilaya, Tanag and sa Lalago na Mars is 
five uh, samples ang nakuha. Then, uh, ang yung area po na covered ay nabanggit ko na ho kanina. No? So, yan po yung actual. So, yan. Yung mga pictures na yan. So, kung makikita ninyo siya, talagang napaka-tubig. Ano ho? And it was covered by uh, different uh, organic vegetation. Uh, yun pong aming lalago na Mars. Hello? Lines. Hello, sir. Yeah. Oo. Uh, hello? Hello po. Oo. Uh, is this, uh, who is this? Hello? hello yes, ma'am. Yes, ano? about, oo. Uh, uh. In the forum po. Hello? Hello? Is that uh, Indai? Indai, I think your mic is uh, on. Please kindly mute. Uh, can I know the concern? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Uh, hello, I'm a bear. Can you mute that? Uh, Yeah. The person yes, is talking. Po. Yes, po. I, I, ano na po. I muted na po. Ah, okay. Okay lang, Go Ari. Ahead. Medyo nagkamali lang. Ituloy natin. Oh, sige. Sige. Continue, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, sige. Okay po. Um, yan po. Makikita ninyo yung uh, yung pag-enhance po ng public awareness program namin para po doon sa... Uh, atin amin pong uh, peatland ano ho ayan po talagang sinabi ko rin kanina ito so uh, yung vulnerability to fire and the threat of haze napaka nakakatakot ng sinamin na ano na uh, inaayaw namin na mangyari sa amin kasi napakalaki ho noon kung 500 yung lalago ng marshland uh, uh, yan po ay base doon sa survey na ginawa 500 hectares could you imagine that ay 500 hectares Uh, uh, fire and haze ay napakahirap po niyang apulayin kung, kung, pero hindi naman po namin sinasantabi, sineset aside yung uh, kasi nasa yung survey yung, yung sample na kinuha namin titingnan pa rin naman ho doon doon sa, sa 500 hectares na yun at saka doon sa 98 kung yung percentage of ano, yung percentage po ng Ah, uh, deposit talaga. Ano kasi yung yung sample kung makikita ninyo na nakita kanina sa mga pictures, uh, hindi naman po pure carbon naman doon. Uh, it comprises po kasi ng mga ano ng uh, uh, soil classification ano ho. Uh, parang yung katanawan clay at saka bawang clay yung dalawang identified uh, identified uh, base doon ho sa BSWM map na tiningnan namin ano na hati siya doon sa dalawang uh, soil classification na yon na kung saan ho ay nagmerge na ho doon yung carbon deposit na yun pa rin po ang next namin na magiging program together with IIRR to determine uh, yun hong ano kung yung volume na mismo kasi yung area was identified already and uh, it is very ano uh, the, yung significant uh, volume of this uh, carbon deposit mass uh, i-determine para ho lalong mas aware yung ano yung mga tao na dapat po namin talagang pangalagaan yung yung area. Ah uh, yung pong aming lalago na marshland uh, meron po siyang ano uh, kasi yung 500 uh, hectares na yon I think there there are a uh, 200 or most likely mga 200 uh, hectares o yung navigable area and uh, this areas ay talaga hong uh, sagana po siya sa uh, uh, different uh, species of uh, ng ano ng mga uh, pamarin na uh, resources at marami pong mga fish ano na naandyan at yun po yung kinabuhay nung ilang po nating mga 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 kababay sa aming mga kababayan na naandun ho sa lugar. Uh, kahit to sa may tanag, part ng tanag, kalapit niya yung adjacent barangay na hayod-hayot, 
Meron din ho kami doon mga, ang tawag ko namin, they locally called us, parang kalaliman or kumunoy na kung saan talagang hindi ko siya natutuyo. But as we observe from the past, uh, from the past years, ano, sa observation ko namin, hindi na ko talaga siya nagkakati. Unlike before, na itong uh, lalago na Mars, as base ho sa mga kwento ng mga nakaraan ng mga tao, eh natutuyo daw naman po yun. But as the times go by, eh, you know ho, mas lumawak po siya ng lumawak ngayon yung area na nasasakupan ng marshland area. So, isa pa rin nga ako sa gusto na yung malaman, siguro with the partnership again, na, na sa mga mga mas may karanasan na o baka ho, ilan sa atin dito, eh malaman din namin, baka naman kaya pala hindi siya na de-drain ngayon, hindi na siya natutuyo o bumababa ng kababaan kasi shallow, shallow water po talaga siya. Eh. Uh, kala namin noong una parang naging lake na siya. Uh, pero hindi ho siya pwede maging lake kasi nga uh, parang nung sukatin mo namin, nagkandak din kami ng, ano, ng, uh, ng uh, uh, pagtataya ng lalim niya. So nakita namin na 1.5 1 to 1.5 meters lamang ang kanyang uh, deep Uh, kapag bumababa yung kanyang ano yung kanyang uh, le- water level so hindi siya pwede maging lake kasi alam naman natin na shallow water lang talaga siya and uh as bad lake oh more than 3 meters o ang deep at pa- mas mataas pa para ma-classify as to as lake pero ang tinitatakaw din na baka meron ho talaga uh meron siyang pinanggagalingan pa aside from uh the yung sources ng water is uh mula din sa mga floodwaters at saka yung mga rundown from the mountains pero i think hindi yun mag- it's not sufficient enough uh, para ho, ano uh, ma-sustain yung ganong kalaki o kadaming tubig kasi talagang yun sa area na yon uh, gusto ko lang pong ipalam sa inyo na yung yung barangay Tanag Ilaya part din ho yan nung aming lalago ng Mars yung po kasi ng aming lalago ng Mars na development Council o yung lalago na Mars o Lopez Wetland ngayon yan po ay binubuo ho ng uh, seven barangays ano kaya napakalawa po ng area na kasi yung itong barangay na yun eh yan po yung mga lugar na kapag nagkaroon ho ng mala- mataas na malakas na bagyo or heavy rain waters ay eh, talaga kung medyo tumataas ang tubig and they are and uh, parang consider na yung nasa flood prone uh, yung malalapit doon sa identified uh, wetland area ano ho pero nasa rice land ho ang karamihan doon na nakalapit niya so yun po uh, yan ho uh, kung makikita ko nyo dyan uh, ang mga parts na, mga partners mo namin sa IEC ang mga estudyante di barangay officials and the, the the personnel from the DENR. So yung kaninang pinakita ko, mga taga IIRR naman ho, sa sample survey. At uh, dito makikita din nyo yung uh, effort of the, our local government headed by our uh, municipal mayor and, uh, dun ho sa activity sa mga IEC. So yung pong meeting ho ng ano, yung pong mayor, ano, recently ho ay... Uh, Uh, we all, our municipality was awarded as the second most improved uh, municipality in terms of uh, competitiveness. Uh, base dun sa hapon lang ho, tinanggog naman namin yung award. Ano, rank number two ang Lopez. Uh, yan po, yung aming mayor. So, yan. Yan ho yung gusto namin mangyari. Kasi alam naman natin, yung peatlands are very crucial in climate change mitigation. So, kaya ang aim at purpose one namin, since meron na akong identified peatland here in our town, is to protect the peatland. At yun nga akong ini-issue na declaration of critical habitat ng Sangguniang Bayan, and of course, the the executive order from our local chief executive creating the local mar- the, the marshland council ang ang uh, purpose ko talaga niyan is uh, uh, conservation and protection 
So, yun po ang main function. As a matter of fact, uh, meron po kaming na uh, meron po kaming mga hard uh, local uh, uh, personnel sa uh, doon ho sa La Laguna Mars para ho mag-monitor ng lahat ng mga activities. Ano, dahil nung una po uh, uh, kwento ko lang din um uh, nung nung wala pa ho yung La Laguna Mars Land Development Council, uh, medyo medyo ang tao dito yung mga illegal activities dun sa marshland area like yung pamamaril ng ibon uh, panghuhuli ng sobrang ano overfishing eh hindi ho kontrolado but then nung ho ma-create na ho yung uh, Lopez de Laguna Marshland Development and Management Council eh doon uh, nagkaroon na ho ng magandang pagbabago dun sa uh, lugar na iyon So, yun ho yung ginawa ko ng uh, local government. So, yan po yung mga reference ko dyan kung saan ho galing yung mga, mga information uh, at mga data uh, na kung saan nga po ay uh, itong aming bayan ay isa sa, sa masasabi namin na uh, uh, hindi po ito ano, I think it's uh, parang biyaya sa amin din itong pitland na to. Ano So again, hanggang dito lamang po siguro yung aking presentation, ano. Ah, uh, ako po uh, muli, uh, Aristides E. Arias, ang uh, Municipal Planning and Development Coordinator po ng aming bayan. And the same time is the Menro designate. Uh, yan po yung aming mga program na ginagawa sa kasalukuyan at uh, ito po ay amin siguro pang uh, madadagdagan ano at amin pang i-improve hindi lamang sa pamamagitan ng IEC siguro regularly and then yung contact po ng mga meeting uh, symposium or discussion local group discussion with our community ay uh, yan no, yung mga enabling policies na ini-issue namin baka mayroon pang kulang para ho, las, na, mas lalo namin mapoprektahan, mapangalagaan yung aming uh, discovered uh, uh, pit land. Ano ho. So again, uh, hanggang dito na lamang po. Uh, and, I, and I would like to thank everyone for giving me a time to share uh, what kind of program the law discussion uh, here in our town regarding the di pitland ano na ating nga pong uh, focus of discussion right now so again sir uh, thank you very much that's in my uh, all conclude my presentation okay okay maraming salamat sir Aris for sharing with us what uh, you are doing no mga pitland programs in Lopez Quezon yes, okay that that ends part one of our forum Uh, we will now inch towards uh, part two. In part two, we will gather your questions and comments. Your questions and comments will be forwarded to, to the resource persons. They will not answer kagad. They will make, take note of, of the questions. And on, on uh, part three, that's when the answer. I think this was right. by ano, di ba? By uh, by Marie. Yes. But before we move into uh, part two, can we please invite everybody to turn on your cameras for a group photo? Maribeth, ikaw ang bahala, ikaw mag ano, mag uh, five, six, seven, eight picture. Maribeth. Will they take a group photo now? Yes, thank you, Sir Sir Langley. Unlock your camera. Preparing. Waiting for the others. Nagme makeup pa siguro. <laughs> Ako I have to I have to shut down my camera kasi it's sneezed. <laughs> okay. Like I said kanina. Ayos na, Maribel? 
I think we are ready to go. One, two, smile. Another shot. One, two, smile. Back to you, Sir Randy and Miss Marie. Thank you to all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Marie, you take the Okay. 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 Um, you know, we are going into part two, right? Where we take the questions and comments, like you said, from our participants. A few reminders lang. Um, Please unmute your microphone as soon as your name is called. Give your name, organization, school, or location. We want to identify you. <laughs> and also identify the speaker to whom you are addressing your question or comment. Okay? Uh, if you kayo, you can always just type it in this uh, chat box. We will see it and we will forward it to the resource person. Okay. Uh, if they are not shy, uh, <laughs> they, can, <laughs> they can raise their hand, no? So that I, they can be called. <laughs> Alam mo, we are also taking questions from the youth, uh, from the Facebook live stream. Uh, yeah. Dati madaming questions dun eh. So, uh, Randy, I would ask you to read those questions from the okay. chat box and also from if... Uh, if the Secretariat gives us questions from oh, her uh, Facebook viewers, okay? Miss Tessa is raising her hand. Yes. Tessa, what you want to say something? I'd like to ask a question. Okay. Okay, let's start now. Laging una si Tessa. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh nga eh. Galing. Dam, dami ng questions na katago yan sa kanyang ano. <laughs> sa kanyang pocket. Sige, go ahead, Tessa. Speakers, no? For very interesting input. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Tessa. I'm, I'm starting to understand peatlands. Um, and and I understand the, the threats or yung mga anxieties that the residents in Quezon are, are experiencing, no? Kasi because of their combustible characteristic, pag ma-change talaga yata yung o mamaalis yung mga um, biodegradable materials, ma-change ang land use, pwedeng magkasunog. Um, and, and that is very important. That's why I think a law should really be, be passed and um, a declaration of yung mga protected areas. Now, wala talagang inhabitants, mga nandun. So, so I'd like to ask, uh, si, well, our two speakers can answer. Who are your champions? Baka pwede natin ma-push ma, ma yung mga champions to really pass this law, no? So who are your champions in Senate and in Congress? And then, um, may, do, do, you put, do you put signs para... Malawan ng mga tao na um, talagang they should stay away or should not do anything harmful in, in these areas. And baka dun sa land, as sa law natin, there should be about uh, research kasi we'd like to know the cycle ng, ng ecosystem na to. How long does it keep the biodegradable materials? Or do they convert it into methane? after a certain time or uh, padagdag ba to ng padagdag? Uh, how, how is it controlled? I think th this should be known to be part of the management. So uh, please let us know so that we can help, uh, pass this law yung um, specially protecting and management of peatlands. Thank you very much. Okay. Do you see any other hand raised? Randy? <laughs> Maybe Maribeth can look out. Yeah, we can't see everyone in. Oh. Wait, let's... Uh... Ang galing ng question ni Tessa. Kinuro oh. pa yan. Hello? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Totoo, ang galing niya. <laughs> Hello po. Mana sa'yo. <laughs> yeah, oh, sino to, sino to. Who's this? Somebody's uh, talking. Yeah. Suzanne po. Sane. Suzanne. Ah, yeah. Sane. Permission to answer the question po of ma'am. Pwede bang sa part 3 na? Kasi sa part 3 ang, 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 ang questions to be answered. 
Ah, Puro gathering muna tayo. We just gather. Ano, tapos, Para ano, magkasama-sama mo lahat ng questions. Uh, sorry po, but I have to leave earlier po. I, uh, next, naka, next na rin po ako sa agenda sa next meeting namin. Oh, okay. Sa, uh, uh, well, so, okay. In that case, we'll make a, an exemption. Go ahead. Uh, pasensya na po. But I'd like to answer ma'am's concern okay. po. Uh, regarding po kung sino po yung champion natin. As mentioned po before, um, Uh, we ha we uh, the peatland bill and the wetland bill has been filed again to the Congress this 19th Congress po. Uh, sa Senate po we have champions like uh, Senator um Loren Legarda and Senator Cynthia Villar for the wetland and peatland bill po. Actually si Senator uh, Villar po yung main author po nung peatland bill natin ngayon sa Senate. And then for the um How, uh, House of Representatives naman, we have um, Representative Jonathan Keith Flores po. I think this is um, um, representative from um, Congressman from uh, Mindanao area po yata. Sorry, I'm not familiar with him. But uh, yun po, sila po yung nag-author and um, nilalabi pa po namin ito dun sa ibang uh, kongresista po natin but I would like to encourage our LGUs po sa, sa keso na baka naman po pwedeng um, uh, we can encourage uh, our um, uh, congress man and uh, woman in, uh, in keso po na to support sana yung peatland and wetland bills natin specifically sa area na to para po uh, kumbaga mabigyan ng uh, mas mat, mas ma Uh, tibay na protection yung mga peatlands natin dito sa area na to. And while we are waiting for that, since uh, hindi po natin masasabi kung kailan po ba malalegislate or maaaprubahan yung mga ganitong uh, batas, uh, we, uh, pwede naman po natin itong i-protect through uh, local conservation area po, uh, through resolution po ng, ng ating uh, local government, through, na, either ng, ng municipality or ng province po. Uh, but I think LG uh, through municipalities, pwede naman po. And um, in, yun din po, uh, ini-encourage din namin na ma-push din po yung uh, pa, uh, pag um, yung ma, na ma-declare na critical habitat yung sa Lopez Lopez um, Lopez wetlands po natin, marshland. So, uh, I, sana wala po ako na-miss dun sa tanong, no? Uh, Zane, can you stay a while in case there's uh, another question? Uh, meron na nga. Meron may question. For you, if there's another question. Only for Zane, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh sige. Uh, ito, good afternoon. I'm Aaron Ortega, biology student from PUP Santa Mesa. With the rapid development in former wetlands, uh, in former wetlands. Ano, ano? Wow. Uh, <laughs> Nakawala. Na. Okay. Not just in Calabar zone region, okay. for restoration in those particular areas. I think that question should be uh, addressed po sa, uh, specifically for the DNA region for E because I cannot answer for that part po dahil um, This is very specific po to the to the location. So at the national level, wala naman po. And ano po ba yung uh, sinasabi natin dito yung mga former wetland areas po? Yeah, but uh, do naman po. I think mayroon pong isa pang questions na how do we treat wetland or peatland situate, situated within A and B lands? Oh, yes, so, okay. sa DNR, Michael ng yes. DNR. Opo. Actually, sir, um, supposedly, um, yung mga wetlands na situated within A and B lands, uh, dapat hindi nga siya actual kung siya ay wetlands, um, hindi siya dapat A and B uh, under dun sa water code natin. Although, meron talagang gray area dun sa water code natin, specifically dun sa mga wetlands na like marsh swamps and marshes. Um, as of now, uh, uh, kailangan uh, yun, is, i- i- enforce talaga natin yung sa water code natin. And dun sa mga areas na uh, yun, yung may mga conflict like yung may mga claimants, um, what we can try to do is yung uh, to 
to um kumbaga i i pagpatuloy talaga yung mga uh, dialogues natin on how to conserve this ano yung importance nito and of course yun nga yung uh, 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 i i promote natin yung partnership with these uh, people para hindi po baga um hindi matuloy-tuloy yung pag uh, convert sa area and ayun para para mag-benefit din pero yon ah uh, talagang kailangan nating uh, wag ma-convert talaga into other land use sana yung mga areas na ito um yun po is DOSC doing studies on peatlands hmm, hindi ko po alam but ERDB is uh, is doing studies on peatlands for researches in peatland and 11RR so uh, katulong din po rin dyan yung Forest Foundation natin, Forest Foundation Philippines. And um, marami naman, uh, may mga ano, actually marami na pong nag-start uh, ng mga researches. Even uh, Caraga State University, Visayas State University. Yan, yan po. But the OST, um, not well aware po. But we can, uh, we can, we can maybe uh, one of our uh, future meetings with them, we can... Uh, ask them or discuss with them. Thank you, Paul. Okay, uh, there's another request here from Adam Jesus bearing blah, blah. No? Uh, I hope we can have a copy of the presentation. Thank you. And he comes up with a, his uh, email. So, Anna, please take note of the email address. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can, can, uh, is it okay, Jane, to uh, give out your presentation? Sige po, uh, i-ano na lang po namin. I, uh, okay. Sige po. Usually, nire-request talaga yan. Kasi... Opo. Oh, <laughs> Opo. I-ano na lang po namin. Zain, I have a question. I have a question. How are we going to help you uh, pass these laws? You know? Um, what do you see uh, that the ordinary citizens can do like organizations uh, to continue this uh, kind of uh, information drive po on how to we, uh, protect these wetlands wet, pet, pet, and and of course yung uh, yun yung kagaya ng sabi ni ma'am kanina na na uh, erase natin yung voice natin na there should be a policy national policy na na ma na ma na maipasa, maisabatas para ma-strengthen yung protection ng mga peatlands and wetlands natin. Kasi, like a petition? Uh, ganun? Yeah, like parang petition. petition po, oh, wow. Support, uh, uh, expressing your support dun sa passage po ng mga uh, yeah, wetlands okay. and peatland bills po natin. Hmm. Po. Okay. Thank you. Thank you po. Thank Any you. other questions? Uh, there is a question. I see a hand raised. Oh, it's Sister Bing. <laughs> Sister Bing, go ahead. It's a thumbs up. Thumbs up, yeah. A thumbs up. Approved. Ba? Kalo ko approved. Okay. Then <laughs> sa, sa answer sa yoni, Suzanne. Ah, okay. So, wala na question ba? Are we going to let Suzanne go? Zane, thank you very much for uh, coming over and uh, uh, enlightening us. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's nice to learn these things. Eh? Marie, can we ask a copy of the, of the laws that are filed, the bills that are filed? Uh, yes. Uh, Zane, is it possible for, for you to send us a, a copy of the bills? Kasi sabi nga ni Tessa, we can have a breakout group in our summit for peatlands. So that's right. Maybe that's maybe right. Copy that. oh. And then we can, uh, you know, uh, make a resolution maybe to be signed by by so many people. Or <laughs> a resolution or a letter of appeal or uh, <laughs> to pressure our lawmakers. Position paper. Session paper, yes. Yes, po, yes. Uh, let me um, provide you the copy po in the group chat, uh, in the chat box po, ma'am. Okay, thank you. And this can yes. be downloaded din po dun sa uh, website po ng uh, Senate and ng House of Repre uh -huh. Representatives. All right. 
So, no more, no more questions? No more. I don't see any hands or... Maribeth, oh, eh, si, ano, si uh, Sister Bing, may question? Po, hindi na po ito para kay Zane, kundi kay Aris. Okay. Ah, tapos na si Zane. <laughs> Thank you, ah. Zane. <laughs> Thank you, Zane. So, okay. ito po ay para kay Aris. Gusto ko pong malaman kung meron kayong ugnayan sa simbahan sa usaping ito. No? Kasi napakahalaga rin ng role ng simbahan sa pagmumulat sa ating mga mama, sa mga mamamayan. No? Lalo with the um, Laudato Sea. So, isa rin yan sa talagang tutok ngayon sa simbahan na mapalaganap natin ang you know, bringing Laudato Si to life. So, ang pangangalaga sa ating inang kalikasan. So, yun po ang katanungan ko. Kung me, either meron na o wala pa, nice ko pong ipaalam sa inyo na kasalukuyang naglalakbay ngayon ang krus ng Sierra Madre sa mga dioceses ng Sierra Madre at uh, sa pagtatapos niya dito rin sa Kalakang Maynila. And uh, right now, it is, uh, the cruise is in the diocese of Lucena until November 5 and then on November 5 the diocese of Lucena will uh, transfer the cross or ililipat siya sa inyong diocese diyan sa Gumaca at baka magandang pagkakataon na ito na umugnay sa simbahan para habang nandiyan ang krus kasi parang icon siya ng kalikasan no so habang nandiyan yung krus ay mapatingkad yung issue na to sa mga mamamayan ha, habang naglalakbay ang krus ng Sierra Madre salamat po Aris any response no mamaya uh, na baka may iba pang questions yeah. Randy for for him uh, Let's wait for the other questions. Uh, meron pa bang questions for... for uh, let's see. Wala na? Kasi wala ka ng question. <laughs> Lagi may bang questions yan. <laughs> Itong bill. Ah, nagpadala na si Zane ng Pitlan Bill PDF. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, Zane. All right, I'm going down the gallery to see kung merong mga questions, kung may raised hands. Walang wala naman. So, pwede nang sagutin? Wala nang question? Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, again. Okay. Uh, good afternoon po sa palat sa lahat. So, regarding po dun sa kung sa question ni, ni Sister Bing, uh, sir, um, alam naman po natin, but I, I know it's not an issue naman po yung pagdating po dun sa enabling policies uh, ng separation of the church and the state. Pero hindi naman po yun kasi involved. Eh. Uh, pagdating kasi sa information and education campaign, eh, lahat po, ano, become all community ay palaging involved. So dun po sa area ho ng ano, I think sa barangay La Laguna na kung saan ho, napakalaki ng area. Very active kasi ang tinatawag nila doon na munting sambayan ng Kristiyano or MSK if you're familiar with that sister. Uh, sila po ay mga member din o nung council. Uh, although hindi po nila nire-represent ang simbahan doon sa council. Pero since sila po ay member doon at member din naman sila ng MSK I know na uh, alam din nila ano at may share nila doon sa ibang mga parishioners yung kahalagahan ho ng patuloy na pagprotekta sa atin pong uh, peatland at sa atin pong ilang kalikasan. So naibahagi naman po siguro yun. Pero mas maganda nga ho, uh, mas palalimin pa din natin yung ugnayan at talastasan o yung pagpabahagi ho ng informasyon sa sa ano po sa ating pong simbahan ay di sa susunod po na pagtutulong ng ng uh, Marsland Council uh, ay uh, ito po ay aking uh, akin pong i ano uh, i-disclose uh, ako po bilang uh, vice chairperson 
ng council kasi ho ang chairman po nito ay ang aming local traffic executive si Mayor Obana but then uh, ako po yung kanyang binibigyan ho ng pagminsan uh, ng ho ng kapangyarihan para ho uh, mag-precise dahil kanyang vice chairman at the same time ako nga po yung membro ano aside from yun uh, zoning administrator din nga po I think So, so makakarating po 'yon ano maganda po yung suggestion or yung pong tanong ni Sir Bing to include the uh, the the charts ano uh, nasabi ko naman po kanina kung ano yung naging uh, partial involvement ng ng charts doon sa council kasi nga oh, sila oh, member din po doon at, at napa, napaka-active po ng mga MSK or Monting Sambayan ng Kristiano na nandoon po sa lugar So yun po Okay. Uh, does that answer your question, uh, Sister Bin? Opo, thank you, Aris. Um, hayaan niyo po, ibabanggitin ko kay Father Edson Hubalia. Siya po ang pinaka-key person doon sa paglalakbay ng krus. Kasi isa rin po sa pwedeng mangyari habang nandyan yung krus ay uh, kagaya nung unang paglalakbay niya. Ikalawa na po kasi ito ay nung unang paglalakbay, may mga lugar, may mga dioceses na dinala rin po yung cruise sa mga sites of struggle. Kunyari sa, sa quarrying site ng Sariaya, dinala yung cruise na yan. So baka pwede nating imungkahi na madala rin yung cruise dyan sa kung nasaan yung pitland sa inyong lugar. So titingnan po natin kung ma, pwede yun nang mangyari para mapatingka din po natin yung um, awareness ng mga tao. Kasi kahit po ako ngayon ko lang narinig din yung, yung pitland. Noong unang paglalakbay ng cruise kasama po ako, pero hindi ko po narinig yung issue dyan sa gumaka, so, sa diocese ng gumaka. So maraming salamat po. Okay. okay. Uh, Can I add may... some, uh, Sir, Sir Randy? No. Okay. Ah, uh, may additional input lang ho ako no. Uh, kasi ho uh, nabanggit ko na po rin ko ito kanina. Hindi ko lang nabigyan ng ano ng masyadong insight, uh, emphasis kasi ah uh, yun yung uh, uh, maglalago ng marshland which comprises of uh, almost 500 hectares. So napakalaki niyan. Uh, ang issue po kasi diyan Uh, uh, mga title ho kasi siya before or private uh, property. Uh, medyo nagkaroon ho nga kami ng struggle nung uh, ipasa ho ng aming local sangguniang bayan yung declaration of critical habitat because uh, ang treatment ho kasi ng mga landowners ay eh, mawawalan sila ng ano, ng baga parang yung ownership status nila ay parang nasequester. Ano? Eh, hindi naman ho ganun ang naging uh, ano, uh, pero yun ang kanilang uh, tingin sa tingin nila. Kaya nga ho, doon sa tanong kanina kay uh, kung sino yung mga champions natin, eh, yun nga ho, sa, sa level ho ng uh, local government, eh hanggang doon lamang po ang kaya namin gawin. Uh, maliban nga ho kung magpapasa uh, ng, uh, ng uh, yung ano, mula ho sa lower house hanggang sa senate, na magkaroon talaga ng uh, batas na nagtatadhana at nabuutos para po sa pag pagprotekta ng lahat ng pitland all over the country ay eh, napakahalaga po noon para ho yung yung ano yung issue ho ng ownership na kiniklaim pa rin at gustong panatilihin ng mga land owners pero kung pauiralin nga natin yung PD1057 yung uh, Water Code of the Philippines eh talagang uh, mawawal medyo yung kanilang ownership status is nakahang at naka-question na kasi uh, covered na siya ng water ngayon. Kaya parang ang hirap din ano, uh, makuha yung uh, cooperation ng mga uh, landowners na napamahal kasi sa kanila. Dahil yung pong mga lupa nila, dati po yan, nabanggit ko kanina, uh, rice land damang dati siya. Ano, pero as the times goes by, sabi ko nga ho, bakit lumawak ng lumawak na gano'n, uh, lumaki ng lumaki yung cover ng, uh, ng, ng marshland, ng wetland, uh, yun mo ang pinagtataka din namin. So, uh, yun nga, yung, ano, yung uh, additional study or research, baka ho kasi meron pinanggagalingin pa rin water source, ano, aside from the 
or run of water mula sa mountains or mga rain waters lamang hindi yun sufficient para ma-sustain yung ano yung in tubig na nandoon sa marshland area. So yun po, uh, gusto ko lang mo uh, bigyan niyo ng ano ng uh, punto yung ownership status ano na kung yan naman po talaga ay magiging batas na ay mas so magiging ano tayo uh, mas may pang pangahawakan ho. So yun lamang po. Okay, salamat. Wala nang questions. <laughs> Wala na talaga. Wala na nga habol. Wala na ba? Uh, <laughs> meron si meron Tessa. yatang question si Tessa. Uh -oh. sa ah, si David also. David uh -oh. Mon Angelo. Sige. Oh, si Tessa, ano, maybe let's start na. Para ano? Si Tessa has yes. a question. Tessa yeah. first. Yeah. Sige. Uh, pa. May alam ba silang kaso ng sunog dito sa Philippines brought about by a change in land use of peatlands? Si, si David na din siguro magtanong para isang... Oh, sige, para one go na lang. Um, yes. So, David? Um, ang question ko lang, uh, kasi di ba sir, na, na sa DNR din, sayang hindi ko naisip kagad kanina. Eh. Kasi ang problema kasi ng mga batas natin na gaya ganito ay enforcement, no? Uh, I think, do you think, sir, na providing the DNR with police power to the Environment Enforcement and Protection Bureau with, would help uh, protecting these natural resources? Kasi parang nawawala na sa trajectory yata ng DNR yung uh, IPEB, yung IPEB bill during this new administration. E ang problema talaga, wala kayong police power eh, kahit sa local at sa national. Ang nangyayari pag mayroong nag-violate, titimbrehan ng padrino. Pagdating na doon, wala na. Diba? Nakatakas na yung mga, mga sumisira doon sa mga natural resources natin. Yun lang naman yung, ano, yung uh, concern ko. Thank you. Sir Adi? Ako po ba ang uh, tinatutungkulan ng, ano, ng tanong? So, oh, okay po. Uh, <laughs> sir, yes po, Sir David. Uh, we know naman tama po kayo. Uh, kami po kasi, uh, ako, lalo na uh, sa desig designation lang po kasi or additional task lang sa akin yung pagiging menro, eh, wala akong uh, police power. But, uh, again, uh, gusto ko lang pong ninawin na yung pong enforcement division ng uh, DEMR to Senro sila ho yung merong ano meron nung uh, mandato para ho dun sa protection ano ho kaya lang tama po <laughs> again kayo kasi nga coordination pa rin with the Philippine National Police to enforce the law kasi nga ho uh, ay palang nilang sasandalan yun pwede nila pwede naman po silang uh, sa monitoring makita nila yung kung sino yung violate ay uh, ito po ita nilang ano uh, siguro masasampahan ng kaso ano hanggang doon no? pero yung huling sila sa apprehension siguro they do not have the type or kind of power sa amin naman po dito sa Lopez ano uh, I think wala naman yung coming case na uh, nagkaroon naman ng karoon ng nasunog na dyan ano, wala naman pong ganun pero yung mga mga minimal offense po na Uh, yung, yung illegal fishing na ginagawa before ay hindi na ho napapractice naman na ngayon. And then yung mga pamamaril ng mga ibon uh, in protecting our uh, system, the, 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 yung mismong protected uh, zone or area, eh ano po, uh, at least wala na rin naman ho ganong mga insidente. Ano ho, after ho nung ma magkaroon ho ng mga Uh, pagpapasa ng mga local ordinances and barangay ordinances ay uh, ito po ay uh, not tumigil na ano at wala na at meron po kami doong mga mga wild mga watchers environmental watchers na naka-assign sa lalago ng marshland so yun po at uh, ano pa ba itong gusto ng dagdag um yung ano eh ng mga region Uh, so yun Sir David ano pero kana from time to time every time mo na mayroong mga law violators ano mayroon ng kami nga uh, uh, ano uh, post coordination with our uh, local uh, Lopez Municipal uh, Police Station 
ano at sila po ay member din doon sa council ano ho okay meron pa ba baka Randy baka um, may, may mga comments sa chat box that uh, you want to read kung minsan may mga comments dyan eh kaya hindi ko kasi mabasa <laughs> Thank Wala you, Owned peat lands. I think the government should buy it and pay for it dun sa mga private ano, owner. <laughs> and then... Oh, okay. Diba? Uh, That's a good suggestion. Just right. Na talagang bilhin nila at bayaran. Kasi, unfortunately, privately owned. Paano pa? Oh, pero ang service niya for the whole country eh. Kaya dapat... Diba? Right. So so that should be part of the bill. Going uh, subdivision ni ano. <laughs> Hanapin natin. Tingnan natin yung bill na yan. Uh, uh, meron tayo. Meron tayo. Tingnan natin mabuti. Basahin natin ng mabuti. So, ma'am, can, can I comment as far as sa DNR po tungkol dyan sa enforcement? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, maganda kasi yung tanong ni Sir uh, yung pag-enforce ng mga laws kasi ang DNR kasi nag-enforce ng mga laws doon sa mga forest land. Ah, uh, karamihan ko kasi ng mga ano, ng mga pitlands na sa kapatagan po 'yan. So most probably those areas which are wetlands or pitlands ay nasakupan na rin na or na-release na rin yan na sa ENG. So, yun po, uh, hindi po nag enforce ng law yung DNR ng, ng forestry laws doon po sa mga uh, forest, uh, sa, outside sa forest lands po. And as far naman doon sa ano, kung halimbawa sabi nga ni Ma'am Tessa na bilhin yung mga bitan na yan, eh ang importante po kasi may, may sabatas muna kung kung ano ba yung mga pitlands, anong pwedeng gawin sa mga pitlands. So, identify natin kung saan-saan yung mga pitlands at para matingnan na rin natin kung yan ba ay nasa forest land o nasa timber land o nasa AND lands po. So, hintayin po natin yung batas para maklin na rin doon kung ano yung pwedeng gawing development sa pitlands. But in the absence po sa batas ay wala pa po tayong uh, yung tinatawag na mandato on how to manage these pitlands. As of now, uh, pitlan, pitlan is pitlan pa rin. Pero kailangan po talagang may batas to manage these areas. Kasi uh, tulad nga nang sabi ko, nasa ano po ito, nasa kapatagan. So usually yan, nasa ano, nasa IND lands po. Yun po ang comment ko po. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sige. You know, we have time eh. So you can comment if you want. Meron pa bang gustong mag-comment? Suggestions? Comments? <laughs> uh, Michael of uh, the DENR is requesting for PowerPoint. So, pwede? Yes po, nagre-request po yan ako na ano, yung mga presenters. Salamat, salamat po. Kasi meron din kaming area sa area namin, sa Region 9, na mga bog lake na pitan din. Uh, ito nga ay may title na rin no? kahit may tubigan pero title po yan so yun na ang sabi ko karamihan po ng mga wetland or pitlands if outside sa forest zone uh, nasa hindi siya usually natitlean na, na, na rin ang mga yan po. kaya yung question ko kanina is how to do how to go how, to, how, do, how do we treat yung mga pitlands or wetlands na may issued titles na po Ay, nako, mga problema natin. Problema ng ating <laughs> kalikasan. Dami-dami naman. Ay. Yes nga. Uh, totoo po yun, ma'am. Kasi eh, sa dami ng tao na ng Pilipinas po, uh, halos lahat na ng lupa ng Pilas, eh, sa Pilipinas, ang sakupan na rin po ng tao. Except those, kahit po nga yung mga protected areas, yung mga patches-patches natin, kukunti yung, yung, yung analala lang. Kasi mabuti nga naman na proclaim na protected area kasi na limit natin yung in migration ng mga tao pero yung nasa labas talaga even forest lands or mangroves coastal areas eh puno na rin po ng mga tao po yan dahil po sa sa population na rin po Okay 
Pero pa? Oh, may comment dito si uh, David D'Angelo. I think directed to Sir Arias. He says, sa ating munang Quezon nga pala ako lumaki. <laughs> Sir Arias. <laughs> Talaga, David. Tiga <laughs> uh, yes, ano daw, tiga Quezon din siya. <laughs> Kasama kami dun sa nag-rally dyan para mapatagtahan yung Lamon Bay. We demanded uh-huh. for the protection of the Lamon Bay area. Kasi may mga malalaking uh, fishing vessels doon, buli-buli yung tawag that they're getting all the fish, even the small ones. So protected na naman siya. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so, maybe okay. ma'am, I can also pan. Uh, mayroon pa rin akong pun- follow-up question kay Sir ano, RB. Sige. Uh, uh, mayroon ba sila, okay. ano, yung LGU nila is kasi ito kasi yung pinaka-importante sa mga LGUs para ma- ma-allocate natin ng, mga ma- ng maayos yung mga lupa natin, yung mga resources. Yung comprehensive land use plan, uh, land allocation, saan ba yung forest land nila, saan yung pit land nila. Kasi ang DNR naman nagdagayasin ng assistance sa mga LGUs to formulate their FLUPs, no? forest land use plan, uh, CLUPs. ICM, Integrated Coastal Management Plans. Mga ganun. Kaya lang, hanggang papel lang talaga eh. Kaya hindi ko alam kung paano ba pinitreat ng mga LGUs itong mga plans na ina-approve naman nila, ina-adapt. Kung na-implement ba ito, halimbawa, uh, meron kaming ginagawang Provincial Foreshore Development and Management Plan. Uh, that is intended for the provincial government na implement na meron council. Pero ang mahirap kasi pag sinabi natin sa plan na i-relocate yung mga tao na nasa, nasa disaster zone or risk area tulad ng coastal areas, eh wala namang, hindi naman magawa ng LGU. So yun po, uh, kung, kung meron tayong mga plano na, sinunod, na, na sinusunod according to our guidelines na uh, ang problema is implementation pa rin doon po sa, sa local level po. So, may, may question dito. <laughs> Parang... Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Uh, yes, we do have the plan. Uh, meron po naman kami conference the plan, this plan. And to implement what was uh, what's the provision dun sa ating CLUP, eh, meron po tayong mga approved uh, zoning ordinance. Uh, nagkataon lang oh, na talaga naman na kasama yon yung yung protection doon eh uh, it uh, yun po ay uh, specifically uh, cited doon sa aming CLUP na yun po ang marshland is a uh, is it, it was consult, uh, considered nga ho as a key biodiversity area ano ho dahil uh, alam naman natin yung ano na dapat talaga itong uh, pangalagaan ano nakasite naman po yan and uh, sa implementation naman nga po uh, sinasabi ni ni sir na talagang napakahirap mag-implement ano uh, una-una pag uh, lalo pa ano uh, pag uh, regulation kasi yan eh pag sinabing sa zoning ordinance uh, batas ho yan pag pag na-regulate mo sila, restricted de, uh, restricting them uh, from residing or uh, staying doon sa kanilang private property na titled naman sa kanila, eh, malaking question yun. Paalsin mo kami dito, amin nga ito. Eh. Ano? So, tapos babawalan mo kami, amin nga ito. Ano? Nandun. So, medyo mabigat din ano, ang, uh, ang, uh, yung ganong mga sitwasyon. Kasi... Uh, usapin ho nung pag may ari na ng kanilang lupain yung ating nung, uh, ano doon, uh, pag-uusapan. Ano, dahil uh, ang amin lamang mga restrictions doon ay doon sa area, eh di, siyempre, sa zoning, as, as a zoning administrator din kasi ako, ano, as a additional function being the uh, municipal planning and development coordinator, ay eh, ini-ensure namin na wala namang uh, activity o magtatayo ng factory that na kanilang nature ng kanilang trabaho ng nature ng kanilang industry or o commercial activity uh, na magkakaroon uh, ng pagsusunog kasi alam naman natin magmi-epekto no baka nga 
malapit dun sa area na yon o kung madrain siya, magkaroon ng fire or haze, napakahirap. Ano po? So, uh, sa level ho namin sa local government ay uh, kung sa amin pong ginawa, kung ano man po yung uh, kaya namin gawin. Ano ho? Sa basat sa level lang ho namin. So, yun. Pagating nga ho sa uh, regulations. Ano. Okay. Ayun, sir. May We salamat, plans Ari. naman po. Okay. May question dito galing kay Dr. Nina Galang, yung convener ng Green Convergence. Is uh, DOST doing studies on peatland? Would you know, Sir Ari? Is DOST doing studies on peatland? Pamit pala ako. Uh, in our case, sir, uh, I think ang uh, DOST, ho, since meron din kami mga partnership uh, program with DOST, uh, hindi ho, wala ho, as, of, as far as I know, no? uh, yung pong, uh, engagement ko sa kanila, ano, uh, wala ho kami partnership sa kanila pertaining to the protection or conservation of the peatland. Maliban nga ho sa DENR, na sila ho yung uh, unang nag-initiate para ho i-inform in, uh, na ang, ang mga LGU na merong presence ho ng ano ng peatland. And we are very lucky naman ho na dahil nagkaroon nga ho ng ganyang uh, discovery ano eh, or information, meron ho kami naging partner, yun nga pong IIRR, which is very active ho pagating ho dun sa research na kanila pong uh, Uh, kinakanda, katulong din ho kami. Okay. Dr. Galan, are you, are you satisfied? <laughs> I don't see her. Anyway. Well, sure. yeah, of course. And, uh, that's the... No, I, just, I was just wondering if this is um, an area of interest to DOST. Because we really need scientific studies. Because peatlands are not yet um, established as an, a very important ecosystem in in the in scientific literature. It seems no, but um, now we're finding out more and more how important it is, and especially with climate change, um, its conversion to other land uses can contribute a lot of carbon to the atmosphere. It's like burning a forest or cutting down a forest. When you cut down the trees, it will release a lot of carbon dioxide and you lose also carbon sinks. So, but um, there's really much more to, to learn. Sabi nga ni Zane, there are peatlands which are expanding without, um, and they don't know why. Is there, are there springs under or is the nature of the soil such that, you know, it, it um, retains more water? So there's so much to be done. So I think, uh, I wish the OSD would be involved. But I'm glad to hear, uh, as Saint said, that there are many, some universities studying it. Um, but I think the government should allot funds to study it. Thank you. I'm here, even if you don't see me. <laughs> okay, you can see me. <laughs> There I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I miss you when I There don't see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There always, you are. I'm always here. I know. <laughs> That's why I miss you when I don't see you. Okay, thank you very much. So, may question pa? Lana? Lana, siguro. So we can, <laughs> so have, uh, Mr. Arias can uh, breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> Maraming Thank salamat you. po for gracing our Maraming salamat. forum. Maraming salamat for patiently answering all the questions. Uh, nauna kasi si Zane umalis kaya <laughs> napuruhan si Mr. Arias. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, you know, Uh, Randy, <laughs> kasi nagulo yung ating procedure oh, because of Zane. Oh, so no. we need to uh, make some announcements. Yeah.
Uh, yeah, uh, but before that, uh, I would like to, well, uh, formally thank, uh, formally, uh, the, our participants for their questions and comments, and of course, our guest speakers for their responses. Um, but uh, we have to get uh, some brief but important announcements out of the way. First, okay, I'll, I'll be first, go first. The GC Secretariat will sh share a link to an evaluation form for today's Kamayan Forum session in the chat box. The link will also be flashed on screen. Please take time to give us your feedback to help us improve the forum. Thank you. Yes. To add to that, no, if I may, uh, as, uh, Aaron Ortega uh, issued a request asking if, uh, if uh, e-certificates would be given. I, I said, I, I replied, yes, I will discuss this later on. So here I am, I'm discussing it now. Uh, for those who require e-certificate of participation, uh, there are some requirements for its issuance. Number one, the participant must have been actually present in the forum and not merely pre-registered. So dapat talagang yung picture nyo dun sa group chat and And secondly, uh, additionally, the participant must submit a duly accomplished evaluation form. So that ties up with uh, what uh, Marie said. No? An evaluation form will be sent, will, will be made available to you for, uh, for your accomplishing. Aisba, Aaron? Okay. It's done. You know what? We have an announcement. We're going to hold uh, our uh, Philippine. Philippine Environment Summit, you yeah. know, in February. Lapit na yon. And we would like to call for presentations yeah. on innovative green projects. We always ask for uh, innovative green projects because we want to feature uh, these projects in our summits. Diba? You remember? <laughs> <laughs> the first oh. summit, I was I was so surprised during our first summit that we had more than one thousand people attending. People you attending. know, yeah. uh, it was the ito yung nasa Moa, di ba? Sa Moa? Yes, you remember, oh. no? You were there also. You were yeah. in all <laughs> in all the summits. Yeah. I know. So and, and and what what really was amazing? We would have uh, very moving. Uh, entertainment numbers. Like the first one we had, Ka El Gama Penumbra. Oh, nga? With their I can't... Play. Wow, ang galing talaga Fantastic. nila. Grabe. Everybody was left in awe, no? And right. then, uh, the, the one in um, in Cebu, we had parang yung Pit Santo Nino, Pit Senor. So it was a very uh -huh. colorful uh, yeah, presentation yeah. by the locals there. Sure. Parang festive, very festive. And then our international speakers. <laughs> so Ay, uh. Si David Suzuki, oh. si Bandana Shiva. Oh. Who else? Who else did we have? Mga ma big, you know, heavyweight. Fantastic, no? And very oh. inspiring plen uh, plenary speakers. Oh. Ang galing, galing Of course, we uh, co uh, organize. Uh, organize it with, you know, with uh, the DNR. Kaya, I should also mention that the, the one that we held in Baguio, it was yeah. rainy then, no? uh, we had as a under, uh, entertainment guest, si no less than uh, Joey, my good friend Joey Ayala. Was it the in iconic, the we iconic had Joey? Pinoy folk singer. Ah, so beautiful, you know, talking but about the one in about environment. But Randy, the one in Baguio was a sauna. It's, it was not a sauna. A sauna ba yun? Kasi grabe. si Joey ayana. Kasi sa sana si Joey. Pero I think, di ba? Kagayan de Oro. Ayun. Oo, Kagayan de Oro si Joey. Ah, tama, tama. Kasi galing siyang Davao, di ba? Oo. That was also very good. Very nice. Masaya-saya ng mga... You know what? I love those uh, uh, Philippine Environment Summits because laging, laging the people are so happy. Diba ang saya saya? Imagine more than a thousand people uh, wearing big smiles every day. Because, like they say, I cannot, you know, I cannot choose 
Kasi di ba we have breakout sessions? And they're all great breakout sessions na hindi makapili yung mga tao. Sabi na, hindi ako makapili. Ano ba yan? Lahat maganda. So yung iba, lipat-lipat. <laughs> so all those present, we would like you uh, to invite you all to attend the, uh, what, fourth na, no? Bale? Fourth? Yes, the fourth. Environmental okay. Summit. And this will be okay. stage, stage when, uh, Tessa? Feb? 22 to 26. 22 to 26. 22, and, uh, yeah, 20, 24 pala. <laughs> okay. Okay. 22 okay. to 24. It will be held in Luzon because we, we already held uh, one in Visayas and one in Mindanao. Oh, and we had one in Manila, the first one. Samoa. Right, right. So it's back to Luzon and chances are it's going to be in Tagaytay. So malapit na. So nice, no? I'm so excited kasi laging masaya yan. Super saya. Lahat ng nami-meet mo sa mga hallway, pag-tas, pag-meal pag time, pag-snack time. Ah, Saya-saya ng group. Enjoy ako. <laughs> oh, so all those present, mark those dates and uh, stay connected with, with us, no? So you yes. know as, as things develop. See you yes. in the Philippine Environmental Summit. Yes, please come. Nako, you will really enjoy it. Ngayon, you don't need a, you don't need airfare. Kasi tagaytay lang, di ba malapit lang if you're in Manila. So, uh, so do come. It's it's really a beautiful experience. And, and I'm not saying that because we organize it. That is quoting the participants themselves. Yung mga evaluations sa ating grabe, ang kaganda. Di ba? Kakatuwa. Are we, are we okay now? Can we head on to the closing ceremony? <laughs> okay, but yeah, wait, I want to ask the people to, you know, baka you have knowledge of some uh, innovative projects that we can uh, we can feature. Kasi what we want to do is to call attention to these projects na meron mga ganito nangyayari to celebrate them and possibly to duplicate them, to mainstream them, di ba? Oh yeah. So okay, we can go to <laughs> we can proceed to you to the closing. Oh, so, okay. Nandito yung very uh, very important ano natin, officer. It is what uh, many have been waiting for. Sabi nga ni Tessa to hear the newly elected president of Green Convergence to give uh, her closing remarks. Let's all welcome Sister Bing Karanta. Sister Bing. Yeah, let's give her a warm uh, Zoom applause. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat, Randy, at saka Marie. So, parang ninanamnam ko pa ngayon kasi I'm one week old as the president of Green Convergence. And yes, last but you've Friday, been with Green Convergence how many years? <laughs> yes, pero iba to. So, nung... <laughs> During the General Assembly po ay talagang nangatog ang tuhod ko nung <laughs> binigyan nila ng um, katungkulang ito. Uh, kanina nung ina-announce ni Tessa, parang ngayon ko lang biglang <laughs> na-realize totoo na pala to. <laughs> so Alam mo, um, alam mo, al alam mo Sister Bing, sa succeeding uh, kamayan, uh, Kamayan Sessions. Ikaw na ang well, mag-opening remarks. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, totoo na pala ito. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga kasamahan ko sa Green Convergence, sa tiwalang binigay ninyo. Ngayon po, na kasama ko kayo dito ngayon sa unang pagkakataon na, na Kamayan Forum na ako'y nagsasalita bilang uh, inyong parang hindi ko maano yung <laughs> president. <laughs> <laughs> Nakapangilabot. But anyway, uh, I'm becoming more at peace kasi alam ko, like kagaya ng sinabi ni Newton, no, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. Nandiyan ang mga giants, si Nina, si Marie, si Natessa. So, um, kung paano po yung tiwala na binigay niyo sa akin ay nagtitiwala rin po ako na nandyan kayo no, na kasama, kasama ko para patuloy na sumulong ang nasimulang uh, advokasya ng Green Convergence. So, sa topic po natin, ako rin, very new ito sa akin na topic, 
wala rin po ako ng previous month so hindi ko napakinggan kaya bago ako pumunta dito ay medyo nag-research-research din ako no ba tong plan na to no at saka yung tagalog niya daw ay kumunoy latian sabi ko ganun ba yo <laughs> but anyway yung aking pong napag-alaman sa aking uh, konting research ay 3% pala ng Earth's land surface, yung peatland, around 400 million hectares globally. Tapos, um, 30% siya na uh, yung peatland store, 30% of the global carbon. So, talagang napakahalaga no? na alagaan natin itong mga peatland na to kasi... Um, The Pope has already declared climate emergency. So kay hindi pwedeng hindi natin to bigyang pansin kasi ma-exacerbate talaga yung pag hindi natin ilag- nalagaan at madamage ang mga pitlands na to, ma-exacerbate talaga yung uh, climate change. no? Kasi ilang gigatons din ang iiimit niyang carbon dioxide sa atin yung papawid. So, uh, syempre, yung aking pinanggalingan at hindi naman ako umaalis pa doon sa Laudato Si Movement Pilipinas. So, sa aking pong pagtatapos o sa ating pagtatapos ngayon, gusto kong bigyang the end yung dalawang um, articles from the Laudato Si. And if I may read to you, Laudato Si 13 um, um, says, The urgent challenge to protect our common home includes a concern to bring the whole human family together sustainable and intelligent change. The Creator does not abandon us. He never forsakes His loving plan or repents of having created us. Humanity still has the ability to work together in building our common home. So, hindi pwedeng nag-iisa, no? Talagang together. And my hope ang humanity to build together our common home. And he continues, the, our Holy Father continues, here I want to recognize, encourage, and thank all those striving in countless ways to guarantee the protection of the home which we share. So sa lahat po ng grupo na nandito na nagbibigay ng kanilang mga ambag para uh, i-build ulit natin yung ating common home. Masasalamat po galing mismo sa ating Sanso Papa at sa akin din personally, personally maraming salamat kay Aris at kay Susino sa DNR sa local government unit ng ng Lopez at sa iba pang mga LGUs at sa iba pang mga um, NGOs no CSOs na talagang nagtataya para sa pangangalaga ng kalikasan ng aking pong pagpupugay at pasasalamat yung Laudato si 14 naman po sabi ni Pope Francis I urgently appeal then for a new dialogue about how we are shaping the future of our planet. We need a conversation which includes everyone since the env- environmental challenge we are undergoing and its human roots concern and affect us all. We are uh, together, no? We are in this together. So, um, maganda po na... Uh, maging bahagi na talaga ng si, every, wala na akong lusot, no, Maria Chakaranti, every month. Okay, every month, yes. Ang Kamayan yes. Forum. So mm. this is a very good space, no, for this conversation na sinasabi ni Pope Francis. We need a conversation which includes everyone. So yung mga nandito, sana patuloy kayong dumalo at imbitahin yung iba pa. At yung mga nakikinig sa Facebook, ganun din. Mag-join kayo dito sa sa Zoom mismo para mas ano yung mas intimate yung ating encounter pag sama-sama tayo dito sa sa Zoom. At uh, sana talagang dumagdag pa ang mga taong mas mamumulat no sa pagmamahal at pangangalaga sa inang kalikasan. Sabi ni Pope Francis, mara la tayo merong kanya-kanyang maiaambag no skills, talents no. Lahat tayo walang isang tao na walang maiaambag. So lahat po tayo magsama-sama. I'd like also to share this with you. I read this just this morning from a an Indian Hindu sage. 
there was somebody who asked this Hindu, si Indian Hindu sage, ang pangalan niya si Ramana Maharshi. Ang tanong sa kanya, how do we treat others? At ang sagot niya, there are no others. So, hindi tayo magkakaiba. Tayo ay iisa. There are no others. And another um, spiritual teacher that I also ad, uh, isa rin sa mga ano ko, guro talaga na personally, in ano kong parang guro, si Eckhart Tolle. Sabi niya, watch an animal, a flower, a tree, and see how it rests in being, with being in capital B. It is itself. It has enormous dignity, innocence, and holiness. However, for you to see that, you need to go beyond um, the mental habit of naming and labeling. The moment you look beyond mental labels, you feel that ineffable dimension of nature that cannot be understood by thought or perceived through the senses. At ito po yung naramdaman ko kanina nung tinitingnan ko yung mga pitland sa PowerPoint presentation ni Zuzane at saka ni Aris. No? It's beyond our thoughts and perception. It is a harmony, a sacredness that permeates not only the uh, that permeates not only the whole of nature but is also within you. So this sacredness is within each one of us. And marami na yung nagsasabi nito na mga uh, religious persons din na nagtataya sa kalikasan na ang ating ecological uh, crisis na nararanasan ngayon is in fact a spiritual crisis. Kasi nakakaligtaan natin, tingnan ang kabanalan ng nature. So yun po ang invitation ko sa pagsisimula ng aking paglalakbay sa Green Convergence sa katungkulan na ito na sana ay uh, pukawin natin sa ating mga puso yung kabanalan na yon. Sabi rin ng isang mystic si Maester Eckhart, when we see and respect ourselves as sacred we also see and respect others as sacred. And in fact, there are no others, sabi ni Ramana. No? So yung po yung invitation ko, kailangan magsimula sa sarili. Let us see and respect ourselves as sacred and beautiful. And um, pag nandun yun, magdadalo yun na ang pagtingin din natin sa lahat ng bahagi ng sanglilika ay banal at maganda and that is our vocation to to um, honor this sacredness and to preserve this beauty of every creature of every being of every part of this beautiful creation so yun po ang invitation ko sa ating lahat maraming salamat po Thank you, thank you for a very... Ito ko magsabi ng amen. Oo, oh, okay. Amen. At ang lalim, ang lalim ng ano. Ang lalim ng, talaga. Oh. Beautiful. beautiful. Um, it's still, alam mo, pag spiritual na usapan, dapat nga magkaroon tayo ng ibang Zoom na pang spiritual naman, di ba? Ganda yun. Ay, <laughs> nakalimutan ko po pala. Nakita ko yung ano ni Tessa. No? Marami tayong pwedeng gawin na magsisimula sa maliit and then we will cause a ripple effect. Nakita ko, sabi ni Tessa, maybe we can make a position paper tapos yes. have everybody na nandito sa Zoom to be signatory. So, ang maliit na bagay na to na sisimulan natin will hopefully and surely create a ripple effect no so at uh, pinapangako po namin sa sa inyo so na aaralin namin yung mga bills no ng green convergence at i i, i uh, ano din namin sa iba pang network na mga ecological groups uh, and 
ang 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 bills na to so aaralin namin at uh, susuportahan po namin na maipasa po talaga ito so yan po ang pinapangako po ng green convergence so at saka um, kasama po yung iba pang mga networks so simulan po natin doon siguro sa position paper na sinabi ni Tessa at sa pag-aaral ng mga bills and then yung ripple effect na yan ay siguradong sigurado okay Right. Ginagawa natin yan dito sa Green Convergence. At alam mo, uh, historically, itong kamayan para sa kalikasan, madami na siyang nabuong grupo. Nung nag-face to face pa sa kamayan restaurant, diba? pagkatapos madiscuss ang isang issue, maraming tao nag-come together to form a group. Kagaya nung uh, uh, mamayan ayaw sa aerial spraying, against sa aerial spraying sa, sa Davao ba? You know, yung marami nagkakasakit. Yun, nabuo yun doon sa kamayan. Oh, so, uh, may history ang kamayan na ganyan that we're able to move uh, people. So, uh, it's really nice that uh, people, uh, that we still have kamayan after 32 years <laughs> and that people are still coming. So, Okay, closing na tayo, Randy. Magpaalam oh, na tayo. <laughs> it's a good Come afternoon. Na. <laughs> it's, a been, it's been a very good afternoon. It's loaded. I learned from it. I, I learned from it. And I hope everybody did as well. And I hope that the same people that we see today will join us in the succeeding forums. Forum. Yes. That's it. Okay, thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randy. Thank you okay. for joining me today. Ang tagal-tagal na hindi mo ako sinasamahan dito. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh. na-sidetrack ako sa biking. <laughs> okay, so uh, I hope to see you more often. And right. um, I, I'd like to thank um, everyone who attended this uh, session and all our guests, our beautiful, wonderful guests. Um Please come to the next Kamayan Forum. It will be on November 18. Okay? Uh, malapit na matapos ang taon. So, pakonti ng pakonti yung oras natin para ayusin ang ating kalikasan. Sabi nga ng mga scientists na, uh, sa climate change, the, best, the world's best scientists, paliit ng paliit yung window where we can still... Uh, fix the earth so that it stays livable. So, nagmamadali po tayo kaya punta po kayo dito sa November 18 ulit for another session of Kamayan para sa Kalikasan Forum. Good afternoon and thank you. Stay safe. God bless. Bye-bye.